Are we going? Yeah. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> right. It's so weird having you do the opening, but I'm the one starting the recordings. <laughs> Hey guys, Ariane here. Welcome to our Let's Play of Secret of Mana! And of course, with me, I have my good friend. Hello. <laughs> Again? Yes. <laughs> it's it's Paladinol. This last episode, this is Paladinol, or John, um, and he's helping me with this Let's Play. We explained all that boring nonsense last episode. If you didn't Go see the first episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I did. I, I I mentioned that I would play this episode, but we decided that it would be better off if I didn't. It's we're, uh, we're getting really so, close. So we did to the text box. Oh yeah. Um, if we see up here, we made it all fancy and took away the really jarring middle bit, so you can actually read the text now. Yeah. Um, I mean, some parts it, it might be a little bit, you know, harder to read, but for the most part, it, it's easier on us, which I think is a bit more important anyway. Because <laughs> okay. we want to read what's going on. So. We're trying to get to a specific place, and this guy will take us there. Right? Going to the water palace. Oh, so it's like... Oh, so it's free. Like... So, we need to get to the we need to get to get the palace. So this is basically a fast travel system before you get any of the mounts in the game. Interesting. You can get mounts? Later in the game. This I is want... how you fast travel in this game. I want a kitty cat. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom! They fired you out of a cannon. You know what reminds me of? What? Wind Waker. Yeah, it's supposed to like the opening thing he, to the Shadow he, Fort. Like, he like goes out of the cannon and he, he and it keeps zooming in on his face like, oh! <laughs> and then it launches him. <laughs> yeah. Actually, was that even a cannon? I thought that was a catapult and he was in a barrel. Oh, it was a catapult. But same, same idea. We came we, from Pandora. Pandora the witch in the haunted forest. Oh, I know who that is. Colony? Is that? That'll be a character we encounter later. Oh yeah, um, I suppose I should show off something. You can run in this game. That oh, running animation. Last episode? Uh, yeah, I ran a little bit in last episode. Just... I don't like how the running works in this game. Yeah, well, you can only you can only go in one direction. Like I'm pushing in all the different directions right now, and you just keep running in one direction. And when you finish running, you have to wait for your action bar to finish recharging again. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the Pegasus boots from uh, Link's Awakening. Yeah, I guess that's a that's a, actually a pretty good example. Nerp. Well, let's go, Nerp. Nerp. That name's never gonna get old. No, it's not. This game has some oh, really good music. Sweet. Button. Step on the button. I also like how they have like a sound effect for going up and down the stairs. Yeah, that little tick 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 tick. Except for there. Just run straight up that way. <laughs> so, uh, now what? <laughs> hey, where's Luca? She's right in front of you, dude. <laughs> what you mean this oh, girl's 200 man. years old? Rude, you like Vaughn. JRP JRPG logic. Any character that looks like they're in their 20s, really two centuries old. Mm -hmm. It happens in 12. There's a there's a scene H.C. Bailey did an amazing <laughs> reaction to it, but there's a scene where Vaughn's talking to another character and he finds out that the character is like way 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 older, and he's like, uh, so you said the same thing over 50 years ago? Exactly how old are you? <laughs> and everyone's like everyone just pauses and they're like, great job, Vaughn, grow up. <laughs> like it's just hilarious. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to what's being said, by the way. I kinda am, but I mean, like, I know what's going on here already. She's basically explaining that, um, the orbs that we pick up throughout the game can be used to upgrade the weapons as we go along. Okay. But before we can get to any of the upgrades to the weapons, we first must- Oh, wait, wait, I have to talk to her again. I was once one of Luca's followers, blah blah blah, I didn't mean to talk to you, I was wanting to talk to the girl. And so, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta touch that mana seed, I think. Talking about an empire here. I'm kind of zooming through the text. If you want to read it, you can stop it if you need to, but... Yeah. I'm skimming it. I'm just like, meh. It's really hard for me to follow the stories in different games. Like, uh -huh. it takes a lot 
for a story to actually make me want to know more about it. Well, basically, the story in this one so far that we know is that um, the Empire is this evil group, and they're trying to take control of mana to revive the mana fortress. And so it's our job to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's see what she says. What are you so scared of? The sword. But its power is gone. Um. Why me? I don't know, but you have to re it. What? She doesn't know why she chose me, she just chose me. What should I do? You must become, become a hero. hero who is worthy of a sword. Uh, okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> you know, pull the sword up to the sea. That's what she said? Sorry. Fancy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do gonna apologize for that one. Yeah, seal the mana sword. Got it, seal with the sword. The mana power oh. from the seed will, will send only you and your sword. You'll be able to be getting power from the mana seed whenever you, wherever you are. Well, the world has eight paths. Visit them all and revive the power. Take the spear. See, we get the spear right now. Yeah, yo. You did it. Oh, that was awesome. That was an autumn jingle. You got an autumn jingle. You got an item jingle. You got an autumn. Autumn. Yeah. <laughs> You got a time after spring. Save the uh, game? Yeah, let's, let's save right here. Yeah, why not? Yay! First, first guys, naval, like Jenna said, or Gemma. Look, Look for the underground pass. For each guy's naval, head hey. south to the realm of Pandora. Okay. Goodbye. Now, real quick, before anything else. No, my speed! It's the better weapon of all of the- uh, it's the better of the uh, two weapons currently, and I will give it to you later. Okay. I'm not sure if I can do anything back here yet. Yeah, this is- this is a useless room right now. We come back here later for something, so... Remember keep... that for later, viewers. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, remember that for later. Oh, I'll stop with the reference. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to go back- I, I didn't mean to go back down that set of stairs. Can I, okay, I can actually control this with my D-pad, not just my joystick, so... That might make things a little bit easier, considering this was made for a D-pad, not a joystick. Yeah. Yeah, I tried playing, uh, 5 on, um, on my joystick, and it was- it felt odd. I also love how when you're going to the stairs, and just be with, like, The spear was just jutting up and down, up and down, it was hilarious. I love how whenever you walk sideways with a weapon, I guess you don't have a weapon out in this area, but... Warp! You're not supposed oh. to know about that warp yet, but here's the, the the evil forest that I'm not supposed to be in yet. We'll go back there later. Okay. That's that's after we get, actually, that's, um... That forest is where we get the character that you'll be playing. Whoops. That is not the attack button. That is most certainly not the attack button. <laughs> Rabbi, Rabbi got whacked! Why does it say that? That's a critical hit. Oh, okay. Which uh, line is it? We have the first thing here, the Neko's village. This is... This is the little cat village. There's... Ooh, first off, listen to the music. Oh, man. I've heard this before. This guy's gonna be throughout the game, by the way. This Neko right here. Uh-huh. And basically what he offers is, right here, we can either stay at his inn, or we can shop from him. And by the way, he has some pretty bad puns, like perfectly priceless items available. Oh, I just noticed that. Here we actually have a bunch of stuff. Uh, we've already got our headband, and we can't actually hit the rabbi cap or the ribbon. What we can do is we can... Oh, we don't have enough to get a wristband. We need to get oh, some yeah, more money to get a wristband. So, uh, let's go kill a couple things and get some money for a wristband. Can I sell something? Huh? You can sell the sword. No, you can't sell weapons. You can't? Nope, your weapons stay with you forever, and they're constantly upgraded throughout the entire, uh, course of the game. Hmm. Basically saying, if I wanted to sell the sword right now, I would be selling the strongest weapon in the game, because it eventually upgrades to it. You don't buy new weapons, you, you pay a guy- oh, and punch glove. It was a trap. 
you pay a guy in this game to use these up to these upgrade orbs that we find to can demo fit, okay. Um that should have actually given us enough money now to uh, get the stuff, but like I was saying earlier, um you, you don't use... buy new weapons, they just upgrade? Yeah, you don't buy new weapons. You use money and you give the money to this blacksmith to upgrade your weapons using the power orbs throughout the game. Okay. Hmm. So right now, I think, what was that weapon called? It's the spear and the rusty sword. Um, the spear is stronger, but soon, since we've already got a spear, or since we've already got a, a sword orb, whenever we get the chance to upgrade it, we'll upgrade the uh, sword to, I think it's an iron sword next. Mm -hmm. And whenever we upgrade it to an iron sword, that'll actually, uh, that'll allow us to, um, what's it called? Get it, make it stronger. Yeah, it'll get stronger that way. Anyway, All I'm right. gonna buy a wristband here for Nerp. Nerp! And that's all we really want to do here. Let's equip that real quick. You this sound isn't... so, like, informative. Yeah, this isn't gonna be ultra, like, comprehensive. But I want it to be at least somewhat, like, I've played this game enough times to know where everything, at least to know where some things are. I, like I said, I'm probably going to make mistakes in where to find different orbs. You can go back and get the orbs whenever you want. Ah! I got oh, you're poisoned. poisoned. Poison doesn't usually last very long. Though my health got kind of low there. Look at that. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, so you let's actually, really let's uh, real quick grab one of these candies. We can only carry four candies at once for some reason. But, uh, let's use one of those candies, because candy somehow oh, relates- Wow, a hundred! Yeah, that, you don't get to carry many of them. Sign? Sign, that's not sign. Danger! It's beware of goblins! Uh-oh. Mushroom! Mushroom! Back away, mushroom. mushroom. Stop it. Tanking all my shots, seriously. Okay... Sign! Where is the sign? Water Palace, Potos Village, Potos Kingdom of Pandora. Now, if you if you didn't realize it before, that that cannon shot that we went through earlier, that no. launched us to the place. It actually launched us up into the left, and so now if we go right, we would actually go back to the first village, and they wouldn't let us in. Yeah. Because you know they're jerks like that. Losers. That little bit of lag there in the in the stream. Yeah. Now you can actually see here. Look. Oh, the sword can't... Oh. The spear cannot actually cut grass, so... Oh. In this instance, we are going to have to switch back to our rusty sword. That's interesting. So the sword is the only one that can cut grass? Not entirely. Later on, we'll get other weapons that can cut grass. But for now, the only weapon that can cut grass is the sword. Speaking of which, technically the sword might be a little bit better for me, because I do have that skill upgrade, which allows me to do my power attacks. Which take a little longer to set up, but... Oh, man, I just messed you that missed. up. I don't know what happened there. You got hit. I didn't actually get hit. I didn't take any damage. It's just... It... Bam. Um... Go down these stairs. Hitting things for one and two da- for four and two <laughs> damage here. Ah! He parried my attack. After you were so, like, inaccurate with that, apparently. Hates you, man. Hates you. Oh, look at that! Look, look at, look at. Oh, and I got knocked unconscious by the stupid little mushroom thing. Look, 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 look at it. Look at. The oh, thing. you know what that does? What? I'm gonna show you what it does here in a second. Just as soon as I kill this mushroom. Physically. Ah! <laughs> that is annoying. Seriously, get up! I can't really. The problem is, if your character gets knocked unconscious, you can't really do anything about that. You pretty much just, if you have more characters, somebody gets no knocked unconscious, you have to switch out to a different character. But anyway, this thing... It's a oh, spring! What do. It launches me right back up to here where we were. So it'd oh. be faster than me walking all the way around here if I wanted to get up, but you can't get yeah, down the same way. Yeah, backtrack, yeah. Um... That was weird. I think we want to keep going this way. It looks like the beginning area again. Kinda does. This this area is fairly similar. Also, another thing that makes this game a little bit different than other games that I've played in the past is um uh this game does not have um very much of an overworld. The overworld does exist and it can be accessed, as you saw by the uh the gigantic map, mm -hmm. but not on foot. 
Oh. Kingdom of Pandora is actually to our south now. If Should we, we just go to the mushroom first, because I mean priorities. Priorities. Well, I'm trying to get some. I gotta get levels and whatnot. I remember this village very, 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 very faintly. It's a very sad village because the kingdom is kind of messed up. Mm. Want to stay? Help yourself to a bed. That'll be ten. That'll be ten GP. Phew. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it. We're missing uh, health. Like, we're, we're, we're missing some health. health. Um. 10 gold, uh, 10 GP is about the same as we would pay for a candy, plus this allows us to, um, save our game. You can only save in areas like inns. Okay. Or when prompted. Or when prompted. Um, I think you can quick save. Like, I think that might be an option in somewhere, I don't know. But, mm -hmm. um, as far as actually playing, not that I, not that I know of. I'm not sure if you can ever, um... I'm not sure if you can ever just save on your own. So it's nice to go to those places and get your saves, but, um... Where are you going? I honestly, like... Gaia's navel was always weird for me to find. I think it's this way. Out this way, we exit into this area where more mushrooms are waiting us. Slash. I need a sign! Slash. Oh, yeah! yeah I, know, I know where I am. I know where I am. Those enemies are really annoying because they shoot at you. Oh, do they? Yeah, they don't shoot long distance, but they shoot at you. Oh, I see. Using slam, slam, slam. Throw <laughs> on the ground. And candy! candy. That candy that we, we used earlier. Yep. Good thing we didn't buy one. Let's see if I can't. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Now, real quick. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. See that? See that right there? See that little pink thing? Yeah! Oh, uh, he, he blocked my attack. He attacked right as I attacked, and it blocked my shot. It's not to... dead! There you go. I can finish everything else off with one, with one of those. Oh, there's two of them there. Yeah. I didn't hurt it, but it didn't hurt me, so... Trade off? Yeah. Alright. So much grass to cut. Whoa, did you see that awesome dodge my character did? No. Every now and again, your character will straight up dodge attacks, and there's a special animation for him. He did that little backstand thing. Oh, uh, okay. They have special like dodge and parry animations if you block an attack, or if, uh, or if you, um, or if the enemy misses their strike. Mm -hmm. They have a special animation for him. His dodging is that he actually does like a back, a back handstand. Oh, interesting. And if he's got a weapon out, um, he holds it in front of them, and that's his blocking animation. Yep. Ah. And that's his, I'm getting hit the and taking damage and animation. Dodge and attack, that's interesting. Yeah. I don't want to mess with you, B. Get away, or wasp. I'm actually looking to wasp, but... Yeah, they're... Ah! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah! Those things get so much easier to deal with whenever we have long-range weapons. Yeah, oh, you can get long-range weapons? There's, uh, several long-range weapons. Crossbow and auto and auto shots. There is not an auto shots. However, there is a bow. Oh. There's a bow. Um, is there a gun? Um, no. You have a bow, a boomerang style weapon, and a um, and a throwing spear. Oh, oh, a chest, dude, chest. All right, all right, all right, right. Ah, uh, yeah, level. Four. Reach that level four. So when you get new new party members. Are their levels like the same as you whenever you get them? Or are um, they actually like a set level? I can't remember. I want to say it's a set level. But it's a level that should be close to around our level whenever we get to the area we're headed. I'm just gonna just gonna dodge these guys. Because we're getting very close to where I want to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna have <laughs> disregard all enemies, head toward the night. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> Um, is this the right area? Yes, this is the right area. This is a very spirally area. Yeah, what I we remember do is... this area too. Oh, did you see him right there? Did you see his dodge? Uh, no. Okay, I got hit like, there. I, I, saw, I saw the enemy, like, attack you and miss, but I didn't see, like, Nerp's animation. It's not, like, an ultra good animation, but it's like, he sort of, like, fidgets a little bit and he doesn't take any damage. 
I have to pay more attention to his actual sprite. That shuffle Why animation. Are you fighting things? Huh? Why are you fighting things? Because it hit me and I wanted revenge. Oh. He looked at you. He looked at you the wrong way. Yeah, he looked at me the wrong way. He said some mean things about my sister, even though I don't have one. You really don't have one? What if he said bad things about me? Does that work? I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> whatever makes you, whatever helps you sleep at night, I mean. <laughs> Friendship! You know, why am I even here with you again? Because I'm putting these videos up on your channel. <laughs> now, notice I haven't, like, even though my health is low, I haven't used a, um, I haven't used any candy because in this cave right here, I actually remember this, we will find our little Neko buddy! Oh, it's the Neko. Neko. And so in this area, um, we can oh, save our game, buy, and sell items. Mm -hmm. And so if we save our game... Does it... I'm not sure if it heals us or not. No, it doesn't. I guess not, no. But anyway, I thought it saved. I thought it healed us. So I guess that was my bad. But anyway, we can we can always just use one of those candies. Yeah, I mean we're finding them everywhere, so I don't think it's that yeah. big. Yeah, the candies they're they're kind of a really easy item to find. It's just you will run through them during boss fights until you get healing magic. Mhm. Mm oh, Zubat! It's a cave level. What else do you expect? Zubat! Wow, they're like. They have they're, a lot of HP. They're tanky. Not tanky, they just have a lot of HP. You can be tanky with health. Well, but tankiness, like. You can kind of assume that they also have a really good oh. defense stat. The goblins in this area start out sleeping, so it's really easy to get um, basic attacks off on them. Yeah. If you attack them correctly, you should be able to hit them with a max level attack every single time before they can even get a single attack off on you. If you mess up, they do some damage. The strat. That nice. side swipe. Oh, you see there? That one actually... Yeah, 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 I saw the boomerang. Oh, he hurts. Yeah, they're, they're, very, they're very annoying once they actually start hitting you because they just never stop hitting you. So you really want to get them while they're asleep and smack them. And just don't let up the second you've smacked one. Because they okay. get back, they stand back up, or they get out of their hurt animation about the time that you fix your animation. Oh, okay. I'm already kind of hurting again, so I'm gonna yeah. use another candy. Those things are relentless. Oh, oh no, there's two of them. Oh. Run away! <laughs> this is my this is my cheese it strategy. As in, oh man, there's two of them. Cheese it. Cheese it. Yeah, zero damage. Zero damage. <laughs> That'll actually become a strategy later on when somebody else needs to get hits in. Is rather than um, rather than both of you sitting there charging up, one person can spam attack while the other one charges up their ability. Oh, so it just it kind of keeps the enemy there, doesn't it? Yeah, it keeps the enemy stuck in a um, in a uh, in a hurt animation. Yeah, like an However, that does not work on bosses. I would assume so. That'd be a little too abusive. I was gonna say. It does not work on bosses, however, um, the thing is, I would have to, it's, it's not that I can continue doing that and then you can do stuff, like, I can't continue to swipe them and then you attack them and it hits and then you hit them as well. It's weird in the, in the regard that, um, that if I hit somebody, you, I actually have to wait for you to hit them, um, before I can continue hitting them or else it won't register your damage. Okay. Ah, you got me. So we can't hit the person at the same time, basically. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm actually getting close to something. Yeah, right up here. I have to get through these guys, so I have to fight these guys, and this is gonna get really annoying because, because of this. Ah. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. <laughs> you gotta use one of my candies. I'm so bad at this. You're not bad. You're rusty. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Wait for it, for it, for it. Yeah! Oh, nice! Gotta let that charge up. Charge, 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 charge. Yeah! Come Get on, me yeah! Okay, and then up here, we got this little skull. Smack it, and it opens its mouth. Couldn't now, you have just smacked it? 
while fighting them? You could have, but it's really hard to get up there and hit it. Anyway, what that does is it... What that does is it, um, gets rid of all the lava on the level below us. Okay. See, none of the lava's here. What? Oh, it used Balloon on me. It's basically a stunning spell. Oh, I was like, Balloon? Yeah, it, um, bats can use Balloon, which is really annoying, because early game, if something used Balloon on you, you're kind of just stuck there, just indefinitely. Yeah. So, if, um, is it possible to cure, like, your party members, like, like Did status ailments? Yeah. I believe so, but I think it's like not later in the game, but like a little bit later in the game. By the way, if you're going to play the girl, you are going to be playing the healer class. I'm fine with that. Um, what your what your sp skills are going to be is you're going to be using magic to buff my sword skills, like mm -hmm. buff my weapons, buff anybody's weapons, and heal. All right. The uh, the fairy child that mm -hmm. we'll be getting here in, as a new party member, which we really shouldn't be, uh, we really shouldn't be, uh, revealing these things so freely if we want this to be just, like, a let's play where people watch it. We've already explained- Well, I mean, we're just chilling. Yeah, I suppose so, but, um... It, we, we can stop spoiling stuff whenever. Uh-huh. Now, this is a room you actually want to get to. You don't have to come here. Like, this is 100% optional, but it's definitely an option you want to take. Why? Now, I'll show you as soon as we can get to that chest. We should end the episode off soon. I've got the perfect place to end it. Okay. Let's see here. Charge up. Yeah! Dodge out of the way here. I don't know why I'm being so quiet this episode. I feel bad. Oh, oh you attacked twice! Yeah, the second attack isn't all that strong. But anyway, now that we've killed those guys off, when you open this chest, you get... I believe, if I'm correct. Yes, the oh, magic I rope. Don't... What does that do? This is a reusable escape rope. Whoa! We can now escape from in- Oh, shit, whoa, whoa, slime. What? I was actually gonna end the episode there with that, so, whoops. But anyway, slimes, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into this. We'll, we'll battle the slime next episode, but um, okay. this is where we're gonna end this one off. Um, we should, and I say should, be getting a new party member next episode. I might, I'm not entirely sure. Who I'll be controlling for now, basically. Yep. Alright. So next episode, hopefully, I'll be able to play some with you too. Mm-hmm. I've also been really quiet, and I don't know why, but hopefully, hopefully I can be a bit more talkative for the next episode. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let us know in the comment section below, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of the videos of this, because this is really the only thing I have going on right now, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll be sure to list his channel in the video description below where he'll do it, whatever. Um, you have anything you want to say? Um, I guess if you're going to go watch my channel, um, I'm coming to a close on my Bioshock Infinite Let's Play, and... Really good Let's Play, by the way. <laughs> the, um, I'm not sure if the finale will be out by the time this comes out. Depends on whenever I, we actually get around to uploading this. Yeah. But, um... You should definitely, if you haven't started watching it, you should watch it now because the finale is coming out soon. Um, I'm a, really stoked to see it myself. Like, ah. It's a definitely, it's a really good ending. If you've never seen Bioshock Infinite's ending or want to see me act like an idiot and like <laughs> just absolutely dumbfounded at the ending, go ahead and watch the finale if it's ever out. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. All right, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.